Hello everybody, it is Dan Lags and welcome back to episode number 111 of Constructing Los Angeles. That was a weird intro. Anyway guys, what is up? It's Dan and uh, I wanted to show you guys the map real quick because I didn't get a chance to do that last time in the recap video. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much exactly the way it is on Xbox One. There it is guys, there's the map for those of you who want to see it. So um, we're here on 360 and it's weird because I've been playing Xbox One the last couple days. And I've actually started to notice the difference between the games. Like, the, the Xbox One graphics are definitely more crisp than 360. 360, for it's a little bit less of a high-definition display. I, I don't know how else to explain it. I don't think it's going to show up very well on the YouTube video in terms of how I'm describing this. But if you've played both games, and you've, if you play Xbox One for a few days, and then you go back to uh, 360, I think you'll notice it. I definitely noticed it when I came on. I was like, whoa, this game looks a lot less, you know, crisp and high-quality than... The new gen so i mean that's good I, i'm i actually like really do like minecraft xbox one i'm just waiting for more things to come out on it so anyway guys how's everybody doing we're back for episode number 111 and uh you know we're here on xbox 360 like i said and today i want to continue working on this house i was working on it uh on 109 i'm pretty sure and uh, I just kind of want to continue to get all these townhouses put in, you know, just kind of finish off this area because it's been lingering for a little bit too long now. So um, this one's done. That one I'm going to work on soon. I promise. I keep saying that every episode, but I will work on it soon. And then, of course, this one shouldn't be too bad because I kind of have it pretty well planned out. And then this one, I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I'm sure I'll think of something. So um, let's get started. Okay, so I already put in the garage here. Um, yellow is the theme for this one. And uh, I just wanted to put one garage here, not two, but it's a little bit wider than these. These are two smaller garages. This is one big garage. And this building is probably going to be just one house for one person. So that is why we're doing that. Okay. It's going to be very similar in design to this one, so I'm going to be looking back at that one for reference. But anyway, how's everybody doing? We're back for episode 111. Uh, keep on chugging along here on the series. Hopefully everybody's having a good day. Hopefully... School is going well for everybody who's uh, in school right now, which I'm sure is a lot of you. Hopefully everything's going good and you're having a good fall so far. I'm having pretty good, uh, you know, pretty good so far. I mean, I haven't had a ton of time to uh, to build, which, you know, is expected since, you know, start, start school back up. I don't have as much time as I did over the summer. But, you know, I'm still having a good time, so it's everything's all good for me. Okay, so um, one thing I actually did notice, um, I think this was the most recent update that was right before Xbox One came out so we could transfer our saves. I actually noticed that glass is different. Now, back in the day, you used to be able to place glass in a line like this, and you wouldn't be able to see the glass blocks behind it if you stared through the glass. They changed that. They made it so you can see them, which um, is, a is a very subtle change, but it's something I noticed and I something that somebody else mentioned on Twitter. So that's interesting. Um, and of course, they also made it so it's a lot more difficult to place these uh, these sideways. Wow, that was a fail. Uh, these uh, you know sideways quartz blocks. You know you can place them like that, but if you just place it on the ground at an angle, you know, boom, puts it at the top. So um, I think it's more like PC in that regard. But honestly, I liked it better the way it was on Xbox in terms of how they coded that. So um, whatever, though, it's not that it's very subtle, so it's not something to complain about. So let's continue here. Okay, so the idea for this building is that it's going to be very similar to this one, just a little bit different color, and, you know, kind of, um, you know, just a little bit less centered, if that makes sense. It's going to, well, it's going to be centered, not uncentered like the other one, so if that makes any sense at all, I'm trying to make sense, but, you know, that's a hard thing for me to do since I'm Dan. Okay, um, let's see, so we got one, two, three blocks of wood up here to deal with, so let's put that in real quick. Okay, um, I have a CLD question of the day uh, coming up. I did not do a question of the day for CLD recap. Um, I, I forgot to mention in the video that I wasn't going to do it, but, um, you know, well, I didn't do one. So I didn't plan on doing one. It's not like I forgot. I just didn't plan on I just forgot to mention that I wasn't doing it. So that is, uh, that's that. But, you know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll address a question of the day in just one second here. You know, let's try to do, let me see if Dan can do a little bit of a, a multitask here and see if he, I see if I can uh, bring up the question of the day. Actually, I don't remember it, so I might have to cut the video and look it up real quick. So, uh, me, me, Mr. Dan should, uh, I should probably come more prepared for the episodes, right? Okay, um, let's see. So, if we have wood running across through here, this is going to come all the way through. It's three blocks in. And uh, differently from, well, different from that. It's going to actually run across through here, uh, kind of in front of this little central part of the building. 
So that's going to be different, a little bit different, but still somewhat dissimilar. Okay, let's see here. Uh, I think this actually is going to go upside down like this. Okay. Alright guys, uh, real quick, I'm just going to cut the video and go find the question of the day. I'll be right back, guys. Okay guys, I am back. I went ahead and found the question of the day. I had I already had one saved, had one ready, and I just kind of forgot it. So, a little bit of a brain fart from Dan, but that's okay. Um, today's CLD question of the day is, what are your favorite houses in LD in order? So, um, this is going to be a little bit of a tricky thing. And uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have answered this question last episode because it would kind of relate to what we were doing, which was recapping the world, but eh, whatever. You, you can live and you learn. I'll do it for next time. I'll have the questions relate better. So, um, favorite houses in Los Angeles in order? Uh, pretty good question. You know, I don't really like to, to choose favorites um, that much, but if I had to choose, I would say, you know, the Alpine Mansion is definitely number one, which is, you know, my favorite house. Um, you know, and I like all of them, really. I don't, there's not one that I dislike. They're all old, so they're a little bit outdated, so I don't really like to talk about them as much. Since, you know, they do need to be, I need to build some more houses, honestly, because a lot of the houses that I built in this world are pretty old and outdated, so I need to, uh, you know, kind of re-up the, uh, inventory of houses. Since it's been a few months since I built a house in this world, and, you know, I, which is, you know, well, Dan, you're building a house right now, but that's different. This is like a little small like victorian townhouse thing it's not like a big like actual legit house like in the neighborhood so it's different but um besides the alpine mansion some of my favorites on the world are I i'll fly over there in a little bit to finish that question let me just make sure that i'm doing what i need to do right now so this looks good um okay so we got one two three four blocks up from from the uh, from the uh from the wood here so let's see two three and four and just take this on and, and through. Okay. So let me just fill this in real quick. And then I'll fly over to the suburban area of LD. And I'll show you guys some of my favorites real quick. And then we'll come right back. Okay. So this is going to be filled up four blocks on each one of these. And then, of course, I'm going to add windows and more fancy designs and shapes and all that stuff. So let's go fly over there. Let's make a quick uh, detour, day trip to the other side of the map. I have to run through the desert here real quick. And we we'll get over to the suburban area. So my favorite house in Los Angeles is, of course, the Alpine Mansion. Everybody knows that. Some of my other favorites, um, if we fly over here, this is a few of my favorites are over here. I, this is my second favorite right here. Um, this one, it's kind of a brown, traditional-looking house with a little bit of bricks and spruce wood mixed in. I like that one. I think it's one of my uh, cool designs. I like that one. And then also uh, this one right here, the blue beach house with the lighthouse connected to it. It's something cool, something different, and that's another thing that I really like. Love the colors on it. So those are probably my two uh, second and third favorite houses in this world if I had to choose, like, a top three. And uh, But I still, you know, I could still always build other stuff, and that could take places and stuff like that. So uh, there's the question of the day. Of course, you guys want to leave your questions of the day, your suggestions, and I might just pick your question if you leave it in the comment section of this video or any episode of Lost Angeles. And uh, that is that. So let's keep on working here. So we're going to take this pillared quartz up real quick on east side here. And then I'm going to uh, go from there. So let's see. Uh, okay, so we need upside down stair, windows, and a door. So this, okay, so the upside down stair goes right here. And then this opens up. We're going to have to turn this into wood and door. Cool. So then we're going to have the windows are only going to be one wide on this building, which is going to be a little bit different, but it'll still be cool. Okay, uh, what the heck? There we go, and there we go. I'm going to place our upside down stairs so we can put some flower pots on that at a later point. Let's go ahead and open this up like this, and then we got to sleep. It's already nighttime. Time flies when you're building, I'll tell you. Okay, so let's see. Let's see how this is looking. Nice. Okay. Oh, yeah, i got to add the door on the side. Yeah, I like building these kind of houses. They're fun because the, you can add a lot of detail to them. Uh, but I am looking forward to getting these houses done, you know, and continuing to work on something else. Uh, I, I still need to build something in the middle of the plaza. It's been a while. Like I said at the beginning of the video, guys, uh, once the school year starts, I just don't have nearly as much time to work on the world casually. Like, I still have time to make videos for you guys all the time, which, you know, I always will do. And, you know, you don't have to worry about that, but... So just just like having time to actually sit down and work on the map is just something that you know it comes and goes like there's 
you know, on the weekends, you know, I think, oh, Dan, work on the weekends. Well, it's like during the weekends, I'm watching football. So it's like, I don't have time on the weekends really either. I mean, I could, you know, not watch football and build, but it's like, I really want to watch football. So um, I'll, I'll try to find as much time as I can, you know, but this is going to be a little bit of a slow time of the year for, you know, the, the productivity of the world. You know, we had a great productive summer and we got a lot of stuff done on the map, which is awesome. But, you know, this time of the year, it's a little bit more difficult to be productive. And, you know, I'm sure everybody is feeling that that plays Minecraft, you know, and you also have school and other responsibilities. You know, it's a little bit harder to find time to play games during the school year. But, you know, as we know, as the schedule starts to break in, you know, I'm still only in my second week of college, um, second week of the semester. So everything's still a little bit nuts around my campus. So, uh, you know, as, as that stuff dies down and everyone starts to get into their schedule, it'll be a lot easier for me to find time because, you know, I'm just out and about all the time and it's been crazy. So, um, you know, everything will get back to normal as soon as possible but you know it's a fun time of the year though i will admit okay let's see so let's fly over here uh we're kind of the same theme as uh as above so below isn't that like that horror movie that came out recently i don't know i don't know why i thought of that i don't like horror movies so that's kind of bizarre that i thought of that okay uh let's see oh we already got this side basically we gotta fill in this wood okay so let's get this all filled in. Yeah, but I have to say, I, I really do see a pretty significant change. I mean, it's not super significant because, like, I think my eyes are starting to adjust now. It looks kind of normal again. But I'm telling you, the Xbox One, do not do not underestimate the next-gen console Minecraft version. I know a lot of people are hating on it because, you know, there's no differences. But in terms of the actual game itself, yeah, I know I understand there's no, like, actual gameplay differences. Like, everything's still the same. Same texture packs, same everything, blah, blah, blah. But... The actual game itself has some pretty pretty good graphics, I will admit. So, you know, I'm impressed. Dan is impressed. And I've been playing, to be honest, I've been playing Xbox One Minecraft a little bit more than 360 lately. So, um, who knows? Sign of things to come? Probably not. St always still going to have CLD episodes, so don't worry about that. There we go. Uh, I'll probably turn these into full blocks just so it doesn't have that awkward lighting glitch that nobody likes. Let's get that filled in. How about that? That's annoying. Uh, crappity crap crap. I'll leave it for now, but bleh, I don't like it. This is looking good, though. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's put this in. And I might have to start taking two, uh, questions of the day so I have more stuff to talk about. But I, I mean, I could talk about, you know, other things. But, you know, school's been pretty crazy. I'm taking more credits this semester, so. Last semester, I had a kind of an easy semester. I was finishing up, like, general education stuff. You know, like general ed, gen ed credits, which is like easy stuff. Now I'm like doing like credits for major and like minors. So it's a lot more difficult, a lot more work. It's all right though. I can handle it. I can still get videos after you guys every day, even with all the work. I'm a, I'm a beast uh, time management. My time management skills have improved like significantly since I started my YouTube channel, which is cool. So like I'm straight up pro at time management. So I have time to make videos, time to do stuff, time to do everything. So I got... I have it all planned out. The only thing that I kind of don't have a lot of time to do is just build, you know, for the sake of building, you know what I mean? Instead of doing it on the episode. So that's the one thing that I need to find more time for, but that's okay. We're going to work it out. Okay, so I need to add um, some bushes. Definitely, I need to add some more color and some flower pots. So let's put that in real quick. Let's get some, should we do yellow flowers since it is a yellow building? We'll try it, but it might not look good. Okay, uh, where's the anvil sponsored by Danville's Anvils? And, uh, let's see, we need to put some anvils. Where, where do we put the anvils on this build? Huh. Kind of in a little bit of a different spot. Maybe I'll put them here, because I don't know if I want... Yeah, I don't really need that. I don't need the, uh, side doors on this building. So, yeah, I'll put them in the middle. Let's see. How do the yellow flowers look? They might look good, actually. Let's see. Yeah, they look good. I'll keep the yellow flowers. A little bit of a change. I like it. Okay, let's throw these in a couple spots here um, and right here and right here so now this part what are we gonna do with this guys let's get some more yellow out let's get some more glass out and let's just start to you know fix this up so we got some protruding glass design here which is cool I like it do I want to use it for this area is the question that needs to be answered so we got a little bit of a fancy schmancy design. Decisions, decisions, people. Uh, let's get some pillared quartz out. 
And let's go ahead and do some placement here. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, there we go. So I have to say, um, I, got a, I got a current event thing that I can talk about. What do you guys think? I don't know if any of you guys... I'm assuming that a lot of you guys are into like technology and stuff like that. Since, you know, this is the internet. And I'm thinking, you know, they announced the new Apple Watch the other day. Which, you know, uh, one of my teachers actually, one of my professors was talking about it during class today. Which is why I'm thinking about it. I don't know, like, I, I feel like that's a kind of a cool thing. I don't know if I would spend like 400 bucks on a watch that's basically just my phone. But, you know, I think it's cool. I think it's cool when they always release this new technology and stuff, even though Samsung has said stuff like that out. All of them Apple haters out there. I like Apple products. I have no problem with them. A lot of people don't like it. I don't understand the reason to hate anything, so, I mean, whatever. But, you know, you know how it goes. The only thing I hate is the New England Patriots, so everything else, I don't. Let's see. That looks good. Uh, I want to make the roof a little bit different on this one, but I like this. This is looking pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and... Well, the... the the roof, this part of the roof is going to be the same. So let's get out that kind of materials. Let's get out the uh, stone bricks and the stone stairs and all that shenanigans. Let's just, uh, let's start to frame it out a little bit real quick before we do anything else. So take it out on both sides. All right. So I was thinking, you know, this building here, the pepper electronics, I, I don't know about that. I, I've, as I've thought about it more, the more I, the more I think about it, the less I like it. I think I might change the name to Elagtronics. Now, I think that sounds a little bit cheesy. See, I try to, like, make cool names without them sounding cheesy. Like, I know everything's cheesy, but, like, I don't know. I, I, I try to make it sound... Like, I'm not going to name something like, you know, Lags Bookstore or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, that's just dumb. I try to make some fancy names. Elagtronics, that might be pushing the cheesy level a little bit too high. So, we'll see, but... <laughs> Electronics. Um, that I might change the name of that. We'll see how you guys think about it in the comments when I read through. But it's cheesy. But you know that maybe that's cool. Maybe that'll make it make. Maybe that'll make it better. Who knows? All right. So let's fill this in. Um, I don't, I'm just gonna take this out like one, two blocks right now. This is not gonna be taken all the way around. We're, we're focusing on the front of the build right now. But so far, Dan is a big fan. I like this. This is looking schmexy. Okay. Um, hmm. What else can we add to this that would make it look even better? Uh, the yellow color it does blend in a little bit more with the white, which is throwing me off a little bit. But so far, so good. I can add um, these kind of windows right here. I can add a few of those on both sides, which will be nice to add. Uh, okay, let's 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 um, take this up real quick. I think this actually might be the exact same height as the other building, which is cool. And who knows, maybe this third plot, I'll just add, you know, another building, something along this line in terms of design and throw it up right there and just have it like that. But this looking, this kind of reminds me of like one of those like um, bed and breakfasts that you see at like the beach. That's what this is kind of reminding me of right now, which is cool. It's got that cool feel to it. Okay. Uh, so these window designs right over here, kind of these little top windows, but you know, kind of dark in there. That's okay. Uh, we need some quartz for this. Of course, quartz is the end-all, be-all block. That's all I ever use, right? That's okay, though. It's a good block. No reason not to use it. Okay, uh, we need glass, and that should be good, right? Yeah, okay. So, where are we taking this? Where are we taking this, folks? One, two, three, four from that side. We're going to try to even in the middle. It's going to be a little bit tough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, how about we go two out and put it right there? Is that going to work? That's going to line up with the door. That actually is the same way it is on this side. So that will be brilliant. Let's go with that. Okay, so we're going to place an upside down stair here. We're going to break this block and we're going to place a glass block. And then I believe we're going to make a little bit of a design over it like this. Am I right? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes I am. Let's fill this in on this side as well. And we'll take the quartz across through here. But this is going to look good. Okay. So we're gonna take this up and wrap it around, bring it around town. Uh, this classic SpongeBob quote of the day. Uh, we have another layer actually. Let's let's add that in before we go any further with this. Let's just take it across. Whoops. Take it across through here. Let's do one side for now since we're you know getting pretty close to end of the video. So we're just gonna fill this in and then we'll be out of here. 
Okay, so fill that in like that. Get this to curve. Perfect. Is it like that actually on this side? Chet, you betcha. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, we got the quartz running on top of this. And there we go. Boom. There we, go. we got our window design there. Lines up with the door below. Looks cool. I like it. I think that's awesome. All right, so we'll add another thing on the other side, but that's a really good start to this building. I'll continue to work on this, get it all looking good and neat and all that stuff. Um, let me see here. Maybe, just maybe, I might want to throw some, some bushes right here instead of those blocks just to add a little bit more color. And then maybe even on top of the bushes, we could put some upside down stairs. What do you guys think about that? Is that going to look cool? Oh, that's awesome. That has a lot of good color. So, guys, uh, let's sleep real quick, and then we'll be out of here. So, let's put, put, hit our head on the the head on the bed. I think is that. I don't know how that what that what that even means, but whatever. Okay. Uh, let's see. Side door actually. With this this building has a side door that I always forget about. Should I add something like that on this? Nah, it's no big deal. We got one main front door. That's fine. Anyway, guys, that is where I'm going to conclude today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. Give it a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new, all that stuff. We got these buildings kind of coming along pretty good. We got one. We got two. We got and a half. Two and a half right now. So we're working on it, guys. Everything's coming together. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I'll come back to you guys with episode 112 in a couple days. But until then, guys, have a good day. And peace out.